What's up, rock stars? I know those ninja pop-ups are super crazy, so I wanted to give you a quick breakdown of how to work up to them effectively, okay? So the first thing that you can do is start out kneeling and pretend that you are gonna have to walk yourself to the wall across the room on your knees, but you have to hop like a bunny. So make sure you have a mat or a towel down, not so you don't hurt your knees. I've got Bruce over here to help inspire me when I get to the end, but here's what I want you to do. I want you to just get your arms back behind you and just kind of pop forward and feel how your core has to work to drive you and propel you forward, okay? Just do a couple, oh, just like that, right? Now, whew. so you're able to move your body forward. You're going to be able to do the pop-up. Now, it might take you a little while. And remember, it's all about developing that deep core strength. It really supports us, stabilizes our core and pelvis. Now, the next thing that I want you to try doing, remember ninja pop, remember, uh, sorry, remember prisoner squats, right? So we started with our arms behind us. We didn't have the opportunity to propel ourselves up, but you were able to stand from the ground just like that. Now, when you stood up from this position, you were activating those same muscles that you need uh, to pounce yourself forward, just like this, okay? So after you get a little, you gotta feel, get, a, get comfortable like this, I want you to imagine springing your body up, your torso coming up a little bit higher. So just do that, okay? And again, have something soft under you so you don't hurt your knees. That's on you. I don't want you getting hurt. See how I'm just jumping my body up? I'm trusting it. Now, what you can do before you come into the full pop-up is you can try just getting one foot underneath you. Now, this might help to have a bench, a chair, something next to you that you can hold on to. I would do this next to my couch on a carpet if my couch wasn't over there. <laughs> but that's exactly what I would do, okay? So I would put my hand on the couch, and I would go, and I would just try to get one foot underneath me, okay? It's a little less challenging, and you'll notice that one side works a little easier than the other. So. So it's basically like a fast prisoner squat stand-up. Did you see that? There's the prisoner squat. And here's what I just did. <laughs> Looks a little awkward, but I'm getting my feet underneath me. And more importantly, I'm activating those deep core muscles. Now, let's try to do a couple of the pop-ups by themselves, because we're basically just combining everything and doing it fast. So, <laughs> and I wasn't perfect. I almost fell over backwards. That's why it's important to do this on the carpet or on the grass or just somewhere you can fall. And, and don't be afraid to fall. I mean, when we were kids, we tried stuff like this all the time. And I know we get older and it gets a little scary. Don't do this if you're not ready. Totally fine. Just want you to have the option. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah. Got my feet underneath me. Now I'm feeling a little more confident in myself. And notice how I'm really swinging my arms back, really getting that momentum so that I can pop. Just like that, got it? Okay, now, Bruce says I should try doing the seriously crazy move that I showed you in the video as an option, only if you're super advanced and if you wanna try it, okay? So, I'm just giving myself a little bonus there by adding the tuck jump. Working on the tuck jump, if you're not comfortable on your knees or this bothers you at all, is a great, great place to start. That's why we gave you over the last three weeks tuck jumps prisoner squats, prisoner squats with a high knee, so that you have multiple ways to work that explosive power and really strengthen your core. So stay in that spot and work on those moves. If you're not quite ready for the pop-up, you're doing awesome. Let me show you that one more time. Yeah, Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna do like five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they feel so good. Yeah. You are not required to wear pants <laughs> to do ninja pop-ups. Um, I just want you to go at your own pace. <laughs> Try, super fun when you get it. And let your body be where your body is at. Don't force yourself, force yourself like I was saying. Really work on the tuck jumps, on propelling your body forward, on doing your prisoner squats because your body is going to naturally develop the strength that it needs in the right muscles if you follow the last three weeks uh, that we had. So that's it, you're awesome. 
Uh, just wanted to give you a little tutorial. Hope to see you in class. Make sure you check out the Rock Your Life Challenge class program. Oh my gosh, we do so many fun workouts and I always go over all of the moves and break them down before we start the workout so that you can do exactly what's right for you. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.